Elementor has released a new way for you to interact with your customers and that's with pop-ups. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to trigger a pop-up from a menu item that you built with the native WordPress menu builder. It's not some text that you put inside of an Elementor header or anything like that, like a button or anything and you just removed all the padding. It's an actual menu item that you've stuck inside of the menus. So underneath of the menus, you go over here to right there is the link. And when you click on it, we have our pop-up there. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. Navigate to plugins, add new. And once you've done that, you're going to look for pop-up trigger URL for Elementor Pro. And I'll have the link for this down in the description below. Uh, this is something that makes something that's already native to Elementor Pro more visible. So it's giving you the actual URL that Elementor is using to open, close, or toggle the pop-up. So if we navigate to templates and go to pop-ups, we see that we have the trigger URL right here. And if we click show URLs, it gives us the links that Elementor automatically generates for us. And we can just simply click and copy this. And then we have the link to open, close, or toggle, whichever one you want to use. So for example, I want to open this. I copy that, go over to appearance, menus, pop-up testing, and all I have to do is just paste in the link right there, hit save. Once I've done that, everything will work as normal. If you need to, for some reason, make it so that it's closed or that it's toggle or anything, whatever way you want to use, just copy whichever one you want to do and then paste it into the menu element. Now these will be different for different pop-ups, so let's go ahead and add a new one. Let's add a testing pop-up here. From there, we're going to import any of these templates. Let's import this one right here. Once this is imported, we're just going to click publish and next, next, save and close. Go to the dashboard, go to the pop-ups underneath of templates. We have the testing one here, show URLs, open it, click and copy, go to the appearance, menus, and we can add a new menu here under custom links, paste that in, okay, so you see it starts with the, the hashtag pound sign, and then we have the uh, text of whatever we want the menu to say, another menu item. Add the menu and click save menu. We're going to go to the front end. Once we click on this, it's going to show the pop-up that we have right here. All right, so that's how we add a custom pop-up to a menu item that's native and in, in, in your theme menu or whatever have you. This is a custom Elementor menu, but if we don't use this, then we can still have this pop-up using the Elementor uh, plugin. Now, if we don't want to use the plugin, uh, all we have to do is basically create a page add like a button or something like that to the page and then right click on it. And then if you inspect it, you'll be able to see this link right here. And if you go ahead and copy that, that's the same link that shows in the show URLs section uh, of the plugin. So it's a little bit more of a workaround where you have to create a page and then you have to insert a button, publish it, and then find out what the link is. And then from there, just find out what it is and copy it into your menu item. Uh, with the plugin, it's a very lightweight plugin. All they do is show the trigger URL. So it's there for you just to copy from the back end of the website without having to go 
into the inspector and finding out which one it is. So if you go to pop-ups, you have the URLs over here. Much quicker. It's a very, like I said, it's a very lightweight plugin. It's something you can just install real quick. Um, and the link's in the description below if you want to go ahead and install that. Um, so that is the current way to add a pop-up to a native WordPress menu. I'm hoping that Elementor integrates this somehow or adds a, the ability to um, to link it to the menus natively without having to use another plugin on your website. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe and click the like button below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks. See you next time.